So, where to? Guess we'll just take a look around the camp to see if we can find any of that wine. Hello, AO worshipper. Hello. You look like Lerdek. Let's continue. It's the temple, worshippers. I just see what the lay of the land is. I get to the temple right away. Yeah, temple of Eo. To the valley of the winds. I still don't know. Is that simply lead back where we came from? I somehow can't imagine that. Deacon, make sure you're writing all of that down. Okay, and here we are again. There's two tents, which we have no reason to go into. And no interest in. Yeah, let's take a look at the temple and see if we can find the half dead archaeologist. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> injured. Injured isn't injured at all. It's the minister. No, I can't really read that. The blue script is a bit hard. Rifkin, Talisica, or yeah, Talisica, and Tenix. And here's Volana. Nobody called Jasmina, though. Kind of thinking she might be here. Let's talk to her. Hello. If you can help him, my lord, I wish you could. We have no magic here, my skills are limited. Well, we need to talk him. Let's use a healing kit. Hope that's enough. Oh, come on. That wasn't what good. That was useful. That? Well and good? Okay. Ah, that feels a bit better. Thank you so much. Now, I'm Garrick. Who are you? <laughs> you don't look better. <laughs> you just shifted a bit. Um. Yeah, he's a bit on edge after all this desert traveling. Dragon never said you would be this hard to find. I'm Gufeth. I'm very pleased that you were able to find me, Gufeth. I'm unsure of what help I can be to you, but I owe you, so anything you need is absolutely free. I like the sound of that. Hmm. Okay, that's showing him the tar crystal. I need you to tell me about this crystal! Uh... Yeah, what happened to you? Our excavation was attacked. They killed all of my fellow archaeologists and the workers. It was horrible! They attacked just before dawn and... No, I cannot speak of it. I keep seeing Jessup getting torn in half right in front of my eyes. Please, I cannot bear to relive that moment. I need a distraction, something, anything to keep my mind occupied. Yeah. How about this? A mythalar! Where did you get that? No, oh, that is not important right now. You can tell me about that later. I wonder if your presence and the attack on my excavation might be linked. Yeah, she must have been able to sense the crystal of the general area and thought we had it. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's just a little crystal. Deacon thinking, old man, be out of the sun too long. Stop yammering and write your epic tale. Oh, you must think I have lost my mind. I'm sorry. I'd better organize my thoughts for a second. Do you mind? Uh, if it means you might start making sense, then yeah, go ahead. Alright, I think I have bits of fragments of knowledge that I will try to piece together to make this all have some sense to it. What you have is a powerful artifact from the time of the ancient civilization of Netheril. This is what I have been studying out here, runes of the civilization. I wish I could tell you exactly what the Mythala was used for, but no one is really sure. I do know that when a Mythala was damaged, it could cause great destruction. Interesting. Continue. Uh, how do you know this? I have found several ancient writings that describe the Mythala, referring to them in the use of arcane spells and powerful magic magical items. One tool of a mage who, mage who walked into an enemy's home and smashed a Mythala on the stone floor, destroying everything within several miles. Apparently they are very fragile. Oh, suddenly Deacon feels sick. 
He played catch with Crystal for hours back in his hills. <laughs> oh. About a moment ago, my researchers uncovered a portal room in the ruins. I believe that this portal was used by the Netherworld to teleport between their cities. Please, yeah, go on. I had not activated the portal yet, but I think it was fairly, I was fairly close. Where it would lead? I have no idea, but this morning I got a clue. A strange figure wearing a dark cloak appeared in the portal room just before dawn with an army of demonic creatures. The horrific monsters tore through my friends with a savage haste. One of them grabbed me and nearly tore out my intestines. I was thrown against a pillar and left for dead, but somehow I managed to regain consciousness. Did you get a look at the face? She, and I do not believe it was she. From her voice, her face was hidden. No, I do believe her face. I do believe it was a she. From her voice, her face was hidden. Came in from above through a tunnel. She was trying to use the portal, but I do not think she was successful yet. She spoke of going to a place with limitless power, but she was angry. She said she had expected to find a mythola here and could not afford to have it remain out of her hands. That sounds... Well, Janar is dead, obviously, but that sounds like she may be... She sounds similar to her. Maybe another one of her kind? After the demonic horde, horde searched our corpses and I gave the most convincing acting job of my life pleading dead, she cursed and said she would wait no longer. She would take her chances. So she went through the portal. She told her army to hunt for a small round crystal that she could feel it was within miles of the ruins. Then she turned her attention to activating the portal. So there's probably people out looking for Gufa. We'll take care of them. The creatures left, and while her attention was drawn, I quietly I crawled quietly away, very slowly made my way back here. I thought I would stop at our home camp, but her army had already killed everyone there. I must have returned to the ruins though, because I could hear them as I left fighting something. I found one of our camels, wounded but alive, and rooted here. The beast died just outside of town. Oh poor camel. Oh. Hmm. No, he's not going to give it out of his hand. Where's the excavation? Ah! If you look to the north of this temple, you'd see an entrance by the waterfall. Go through it and find your way to the Valley of Winds. We marked it well, so it should not be too difficult to find. You said this could be used as a weapon? Yes, I see her thinking along the same lines as I am. There is no telling what is on the other side of that device. I think she expects to find Netherese these artifacts of almost limitless power, untouched after all these ages. And if she does, what then? Ooh, do you can think epic tale of boss just get much more epic? Yes, indeed. Write that down. Write that all down. She may be seeking this mythola for her own uses, or perhaps she fears it. With all the power at her disposal, using the mythola you possess as a weapon might be the only way to defeat her. He doesn't want him to. He's convinced that he can face her alone. And he's interested in all of that. I would be of little use to you there, but I can do something that might help. I have a spell that will take me some time to set up, but if, it get, if I can get it to work, I can reach Jogan with it. It's possible that he might be able to send help or even to come himself. Well, he does have a lot to answer for. I know him well enough to say that when it is important, he will think of something to help. There are a lot of preparation I must take, so unless you have questions, I should get started. I do have some questions. What's the portal? Once you get in the ruins, you will have to find your way down. The portal room was the last place we reached, so you should be able to find it if you just keep moving. That is probably a good idea anyway, since the ruins may still be crawling with those demonic creatures. Anything else? How do I activate it? I truly do not know. There were pillars in the area which had buttons. These might have activated it. I was too cautious to experiment, to tell the truth. With luck, the woman will not know how to activate it either. Anything else? Yeah, how do you know, Dro? This hardly seems to be the appropriate time to be reliving old acquaintances, but I guess you have a right to know. Drogon once saved me from a labyrinth. You mean in a labyrinth or from a labyrinth? I was doing some research on the Netherese. Yes, I know I have an unhealthy fascination with them. And I found a small puzzle box. 
seemed to be just an interesting tie, but when I played with it, I was sucked inside an elaborate maze where I wandered for several months until I was found and released by Drogon. <laughs> interesting, boring, go on. Go on. The Netheril were so powerful that even their toys could capture the mind and hold captive. Imagine a society so rich and powerful that they can waste time and money on elaborate entertainments that last days, even months, before the fascination wears off. I mean, like webcomics? It must have been an exciting place to live, but anyways, Drogon is an old hand at solving puzzles and dealing with magic. Once you rescued me, we became friends. And that is all there is to tell. Well, that's it. Okay. There is that. Yeah, I know. You already told me. Good luck, Ufoth. When you reach her... Her turn. Her turn. Bad. The men and women she killed today, they were good people. Make her feel their pain. That's dark. Especially for somebody who's just lying there on the ground. Anywho... I'm still not finished getting the lay of the land here. He is interested in these AO people. Hello! I greet you, my child. Welcome to the humble abode of we few followers of Lord Ao Malorit. Who are you? My name is unimportant as are all personal details about the life I once led before I came here. Like the god I follow, I'm a strong believer in privacy. I acknowledge that statement and react by prying into it and asking you to tell me about Ao. There is so little yet so much to tell. I hardly know where to begin. Is there anything specific you would like to know? 